everybody and welcome back to Wing Commander Privateer. Last time around took our first job as part of the Explorer Corps. Jumped into a strange new system and found out that the reason nobody's coming back is because it's infested with pirates and asteroids. So now it's time to go get our pay and get our next job. Well, are the dragons slain? Wipe the dragons from your charts and replace them with pirates. Dead pirates, anyway. The aerial was swarming with the little buggers. But I did a little exterminating before completing my mapping run. That's good to know. If I don't get this sector mapped real soon, the brass at HQ will have my rear. Lucky brass. Any way I can uh, beat them to it? Hmm. Maybe we'll discuss that after this next mission. This time you'll enter a completely unexplored region. I'll need you to launch from Rigannon, pass through Delta to a new jump point, which you will use to jump to the uncharted system we've designated Beta. All you have to do is hit all the nav points in your computer. I'll update the chart using your flight disk and pay you 10,000 credits when you return. All right, well, I guess we don't have a choice. Man, this guy is horny. Like I told you before, I need the work. Don't worry, you're not going into a known hazard area. Yeah, but it's the unknown hazards that scare me. <laughs> Still, I'll do my best and meet you back here when I'm done. Good. By the way, there's one more thing I need you to do on this run. One of my men, Captain Garovic, made the same run you're making. He never came back, so one of your objectives is to find him if you can. I thought this wasn't a known hazard area. We don't know if anything hazardous happened to Garovic. But keep your eyes peeled just the same, okay? We don't know if anything hazardous happened to him, but uh, he also didn't come back, so... Okay, great. So we're back to those unknown hazards. All right. Well, let's just check that our ship's restocked on missiles and uh, get out there. Okay, fully stocked. Let's uh, get to the missioning. And launch. Oh, and we come out of right into trouble. Alright. This is a random encounter. A little too annoying to run from, unfortunately. So let's just fix them up right quick. Okay, so now we're gonna jump to Delta. Followed by Beta. And we'll just see how this goes. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's an asteroid field. And it's right at the jump point, so that makes it kind of annoying, unless you are the type who wants to hex edit your game, which, I mean, you do you. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not here to judge, I'm just mostly trying to play the game as intended, that's kind of my thing. 
All right, jump. Set the next nav point, which is going to be nav beta. Well, we're going to have to deal with some trouble first. Oh, and it's Gothry. Yeah, I can't leave these cats hanging in this jump. Simply will not. difference in style for how the different companies and developers did their space games. Wing commanders. You're about to suck you know, void, buddy. You know, all the wing commander games kinda have this go to this point. Do the thing. Very structured in a system with multiple jump points usually and all that. Whereas private whereas X-Wing and TIE Fighter are a lot more show up, here's a big battlefield, and everything happens in this one location. And I realize Alliance doesn't entirely do that. This crate's about to explode! But does a lot of things that kind of break with break with how the other games do things. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Just Damn, you're ripping me apart! Okay. One last stretcher here. And this is all just the warm-up for actually scouting this next system. Okay, here we go. Just drop into beta. Scout the nav points and do this whole thing in reverse. Sounds like a piece of cake, right? Okay, nav one's clean. We'll just do a standard four point patrol here. Go to beta. And Beta's got rocks, so we'll have to do a little dodging. There's of course always the chance for a random encounter at these jaunt at these nav points. And then there'll be a scripted encounter somewhere along the way. It's a lot nicer to maneuver through these asteroids in the Centurion rather than uh, the old Tarsus. Okay, there's Nav 2 cleared. On to Nav 3. Probably shouldn't have done that in the asteroids, but got away with it. Alright, to 
just get out of the rocks. And keep it moving. Nav three. Hey, do you need any help? Damn you, keep back. Is that any way to greet your savior? Stay away, you hear me? Back off. Dude. Do you need assistance? Alright, you asked for it. Okay. Well. Fine. I guess we found him, and he's gone nuts. Which, in fairness, I like the Centurion, but that thing's pretty crazy. Probably, uh... I'd probably get crazy if I were stuck in there, too. Eh, no ejection pod, either. I would have tried to tractor beam him. Oh, well. There's nav 3. Bounce it out to nav 4. And then we can start our trek back. Oh, nav 4's got more asteroids. That's not so fun. Okay, well, lots of rocks to dodge. Yippee. But I do think, again, going back to that comparison between the X-Wing series and the Wing Commander series, I think one of the really interesting things is that the X-Wing games up until Alliance, uh, so really the first two games, really just, you're the no-name, no-face, no-voice hero or heroine of the story. Uh, you, know, you can be whoever, because they never show you. It's all about just putting you in the cockpit and letting you have kind of that Star Wars heroic pilot experience. Wing Commander, all the Wing Commander games, are really about you, know, you are this person. You know, in the first couple games you get to choose your name, but uh, even so, you're not... You, know, you are the character that they gave you, is kind of how it goes. And there's nothing wrong with either approach. What I do think is interesting, though, is in this modern era of games trying to all be super inclusive for player characters and everything, you know, there's probably some design choices where you could just go back to being the nameless, voiceless, first-person protagonist, and you can just be whatever you want, and voila, it's the most inclusive thing you could possibly have. Okay. Here we go with another welcome. Apparently I didn't clear all the pirates out that time. Let's 
fine. I'll do a little more work for Pirate Lieutenant. Not that it ever seems to turn their numbers up. Two more. Which, if they want to be helpful, they'll still make that. Get rid of them a lot faster. Kilrathi welcoming community here. Great. And that's for Gothry. Ugh. That's why this sector is dangerous. Scratch one. to the Raganon system. Oh yeah, and I gotta wade through the asteroid skin. thought about it, I would have slowed down 
right before I hit the jump point so that I wouldn't have to immediately decelerate as soon as I came out of jump. But that's not what I did. It's okay, it all worked out. I was out of it. Should be close. There we go. Alright. Now as long as there's nobody around the mining base. Pirates. I'm not dealing with this. I'm just going to burn in for the base. Now entering an automatic landing. Perfect. All right, not a bad mission. That's uh that actually worked out pretty good. So, thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you on the next one.